cells are as fundamental to the living systems of biology as the atom is to chemistry. Many different types of cells are working for you right now. The contraction of muscle cells moves your eyes as you read this sentence. Nerve cells are making a contact with muscle cells. The words on the page are translated into signals that nerve cells carry to your brain where they are passed on to other nerve cells. As you study, you are making cell connections like this. All organisms are made of cells. Many forms of life exist as single cell organisms like amoeba, larger or more complex organisms, including plants and animals. Because cells are so small and complex, it is hard to see their structure. We will first examine the tools and techniques. Microscopes were invented in 1590 and further refined during the 60s. Cell walls were first seen by Robert Hooke in 1665. It took the wonderfully crafted lenses of Anthony van Leeuwenhoek to visualize living cells. We need to learn the size units to know how microscopic a cell could be. One centimeter equal to ten to the power minus two meter. One millimeter equal to ten to the power minus three meter. One micrometer equal to ten to the power minus three millimeter or ten to the power minus six meter. One nanometer equal to ten to the power minus three micrometer or ten to the power minus nine meter. A typical cell is 10 to 20 micrometer in diameter, which is one fifth size of the smallest particle visible to the naked eye. Light or optical microscope uses visible light as a source of illumination because the light travels through the specimen. This instrument can also be called as a transmission light microscope. The simplest form of light microscope consists of a single lens and a magnifying glass. Microscope made up of more than one glass lens in combination is termed compound microscope. Compound microscope includes condenser lens, the objective lens and the eyepiece lens. The objective lens is responsible for producing the magnified image. It is available in different varieties 4x to 100x. There are three important parameters in microscopy. These are magnification, resolution and contrast. The magnification or linear magnification of a microscope is defined as the ratio of the image size to the object that is specimen size. If the image and object are in the same medium, then it is just the image distance divided by the object distance. There is a difference in the meaning of the two terms, magnification and magnifying power. Magnifying power or angular magnification is the ratio of the angle subtended by object and image.
The magnification of a compound microscope is the product of the magnification of the objective and the eyepiece. The magnification of the objective is called the linear magnification because it is measured in linear dimensions. The magnification of the eyepiece is called the angular magnification. The overall magnification is the product of the linear magnification of the objective lens and the angular magnification of the eyepiece with the first image at the focal length. Resolution is a measure of the clarity of the image. Resolving power is the ability of magnifying instrument to distinguish two objects that are close together. The resolving power is inversely related to the limit of resolution. The limit of resolution is defined as the minimum distance between two points that allows for their discrimination as two separate points. Thus, the higher the resolving power, the smaller the limit of resolution. There is Abbe equation, the limit of resolution equal to 0 0.61 lambda divided by n into sine alpha. The quantity n into sin alpha is called the numerical aperture of the objective lens, abbreviated as NA. This NA is a measure of the ability of a lens to collect light from the specimen. Lenses with a low NA collect less light than those with a high NA. For small value of limit of resolution, the numerator of the equation should be as small as possible and the denominator should be as large as possible. Equation shows that resolution can be improved by shortening the wavelength of the illuminating light. Increasing the index of refraction on the objective lens and increasing sin alpha. The angle alpha can be increased either by shortening the distance between the lens and the object or by increasing the diameter of the lens. The figure I'm drawing here describes as the angular aperture of a lens. The angular aperture is the half angle alpha of the cone of light entering the objective lens of the microscope from the specimen. It is therefore a measure of how much of the illumination that leads the specimen actually passes through the lens. The larger the angular aperture, the more information the lens can transmit. For minimum value of numerator, the wavelength should be small. Thus, for the best resolution, specimen is illuminated with blue light of 450 nanometer. The angular aperture for the best objective lenses is about 70 degree. Hence, the maximum value for sine alpha is about 0.94. The refractive index of air is about 1.0. So, for a lens designed for use in air, the maximum numerical aperture is about 0.94. In this situation, the limit of resolution for a glass lens in air is roughly 300 nanometer. To increase the numerical aperture, some microscope lenses are designed to be used with a layer of immersion oil between the lens and the specimen. Immersion oil has a higher refractive index than air and therefore allows the lens to receive more of the light transmitted through the specimen. 
Since the refractive index of immersion oil is about 1.5, the maximum numerical aperture for an oil immersion lens is about 1.5 into 0.94 equal to 1.4. Thus, the limit of resolution for a microscope that uses visible light is roughly 300 nanometer in air and 200 nanometer with an oil immersion lens. The limit of resolution of the unaided or naked human eye is 100 micrometer. The refractive index of a medium measures the exact of interaction between electromagnetic radiation and the medium through which it passes. The refractive index of water at room temperature is 1.33, which means the light travels 1.33 times slower in water than it does in vacuum. When light enters a medium with a different optical density, it bends in a direction that depends on the refractive index of two media, air and glass. For example, have refractive index of 1.00 and 1.51 respectively when light enters glass the medium with the higher refractive index it bends toward a line drawn normal to the surface conversely when light exits glass into air it bends away from the normal light the last parameter is contrast so this is the first class of uh, microscopy. Thank you so much.